Hello friends, welcome to next lecture in kinematics of machines. So in this video lecture, we shall see the concept of interference in involute gears. And also we shall see what is the maximum permissible addendum circle radius for the non-occurrence or prevention of the interference in involute gears. So friends, please stay tuned with this video lecture. Before we begin with the lecture, I request you to please subscribe to this YouTube channel. If you have not yet subscribed, please like our Facebook page, Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram. The links are in the description below. So friends, let's begin with the video lecture. So here we have the diagram of a pinion and gear meshed together and the pinion is denoted by one with center A and gear is denoted with center B and is number two. So both these, uh, you can say the gears mesh together and they transmit both the power as well as the motion through the line of action EF, which is blue in color. And the main property of this line of action is that it is tangent to the base circle of the gear at point F and tangent to the base circle of the pinion at point E and it passes through the pitch point that is the intersection of pitch circle of the pinion and the pitch circle of the gear. So this is the point P or pitch point. So at any instant the tooth profiles in contact must be involute so that the line of action remains fixed. So this is the condition the line of action has to remain fixed then the both the gears should be involute in nature. If either of the two surfaces is not involute, the two surfaces will not have the tangential contact among themselves, thereby causing abnormal power transmission. Thus making of two non-involute teeth is known as the interference. That is when we have the non-involute teeth over here then there won't be proper meshing that is there won't be tangential contact among themselves and hence there will be abnormal power transmission and the mating of two non-involute teeth we call it as interference. So when interference occurs we have the contacting teeth will have different velocities and due to this there are chances of the two gears getting locked within each other that is called as locking of gears. So this is about the interference. So now let us see what is the maximum permissible addendum circle radius to avoid this interference. So again this figure shows when two gears that is the pinion and gear are meshed. The pinion is the driver and the line of action will be along EF which is common tangent to the base circles of the two gears. So let the addendum radius of gear be BC and that of pinion be AD. The teeth on the pinion and gear are engaged at point C and they are disengaged at point D. So here they are engaged at point C on the addendum circle and disengaged at point D on the addendum circle. So the radius of the addendum of pinion is increased. The point D shifts along the line EF. So what happens when it shifts along the line EF and towards this point F? So it coincides with point F that is when the addendum circle radius now say if this is AD is further increased this D tends to move along this direction and towards point F. So you just focus on my mouse pointer. So this is point D. So as the addendum circle radius is increased the point D goes on shifting as you can see in this mouse pointer till it reaches the point F and it coincides with point F. So here the D shifts towards or along the PF and this coincides with F making the new addendum radius AF. So further increase in this addendum circle radius uh, what happens is that this point D which is now coinciding with F will tend to move inside this base circle. So what happens when any point moves inside the base circle? So this 
will cause one problem which does not exist physically and that is the involute can exist only outside the base circle so you can see this involute over here so this involute can exist only outside the base circle so it is not possible for the addendum to move inside the base circle of any gear so therefore any profile of teeth inside this base circle will be a non involute and becoming non involute will cause the interference so here to avoid this interference the maximum addendum radius should be af similarly this is at the disengagement and similarly at the engagement upon further increasing of the addendum circle here point c tends to coincide with point e and further increase will make this point to go inside this base circle and once this point goes inside the base circle it becomes a non involute and causes interference so the maximum addendum radius of the gear permissible will be be and that of the pinion will be af so we have few points to be noted over here so the first point is that to avoid the interference the limiting value of the addendum circle should be ge and uh, that is for the gear should be ge and the pinion should be hf so to avoid this interference as i said the limiting value of addendum of gear should be ge and that of the pinion should be hf and the condition should be that the addendum circle radius ge should be greater than hf so here the addenda of the gear and the pinion are to be equal so addendum of the gear passes through the limiting point e on the line of action before the addendum circle of pinion passes through the limiting point f that is the engagement should occur at this point and this engagement should occur at this point and should be along the same line that is ef thus the addendum radius of the gear decides the occurrence of the interference so this is about the interference here so to avoid the interference we should have the addendum radi uh, addendum radius should be af maximum and addendum radius should be be for gear that is maximum and the limiting value of the addenda that is the distance between the pitch circle and the addendum circle we call it as addenda so this is the addenda and here we have the condition that addenda should be greater than hf so this will be about the limiting value so at the max what we can have is the addendum circle or the uh, sorry the addendum of the gear and the pinion should be equal at any condition the addendum of gear should not be less than the addendum of pinion that is very very important so it can be greater than that of the pinion but at it should be even if you are reducing this addendum it should be at the max equal and not should be less than the addenda of the pinion and addendum of gear thus decides the occurrence of interference so if the addenda of the gear is greater than or equal to the addenda of the pinion then the interference will not occur but if the addenda of the gear is less than that of the addenda of the pinion it is sure that interference will occur so that's all friends in this video lecture about the interference in involute gears so if you have understood the explanation please like and share this video with your friends if you have any doubts with this explanation please feel free to put a comment in the comment section please like this video and subscribe to this youtube channel if you have not yet subscribed please like our facebook page mechanical engineering tutorials follow us on twitter and instagram the links are in the description below that's all friends thank you very much